Right, so today we're going to be showing you kind of how to use the slash execute command in kind of full detail, I'd say. It's going to be much more complicated, like the slash, the slash execute command is a very complicated command. But let's just kind of show you how to make it, what it does. So first of all, you've got to do slash execute and then who you're executing the command on. So I'm just going to do probably at S, because I'm going to execute it at myself. And when you, and basically when you do, when you do slash execute, what it is, is executing commands that you would normally just do it according at a player base. So like fill. So execute at S, tilde, 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 fill, and then an area. Instead of, basically you fill an area this many blocks away from a player, basically. Instead of filling an, instead of filling an, uh, instead of just filling an area from this coordinate to that coordinate. You might not understand what that means, but anyway, I'm going to show you these four kind of different things you can kind of do is just execute. I really do like them all. I think they're all really cool. So um the first yeah these are just four things I can you can do to execute. The first one I've just done to execute at P tilde 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 fill tilde minus two tilde 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 minus two tilde tilde um grass and then I've done the same thing but air zero destroy. So what it does is fill up um block by my head with grass and then fill it and then execute at me and it will basically fill it with air but will destroy what was originally there like this. Um, there is a way you can make it so that the grass thing get, then gets destroyed, but that didn't really work for me. I'm going kind of fast on this, and I, I may not be making too much sense. Like, I'm kind of sorry about that. I'm trying my best to make sense. But the SS execute command is one of the more complicated commands in the game by far, in my opinion. It isn't even really a command as such. And that, uh, it's more of like a, uh, what's it called? It's more, it will execute a command anyway. Um, what I just showed you there was the particles because I did a part video of particle trails. You can um the way I did that is executing a, the particle command as a player. So as you can see, I'm doing it there. Execute at p tilde 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 particle Minecraft current lava particle tilde tilde minus one tilde, or just tilde one. So that's going to execute the particle particles at me, which is which is kind of nice, I guess. It's not very um fun. It doesn't have any functional value really. It's just nice. The next one I do not like this one, but as you can see, I execute the summon command to summon fish. I always use salmon when summon. I don't actually know why. I'm just not going to go and kill all these fish. I'll be right back, I guess. All right, I just cleared up all all that mess. And now, last one, execute at P, the up arrow, up arrow, up arrow 10, set block, up arrow, up arrow, up arrow 10, stone. So what I was going to do is set, set the block 10 blocks in front of where I'm pointing to stone, like this, ready? Look at that. This is one of my favourite things ever. Um, I got this kind of design from Silent Whisperer. But this is using an execute command to kind of like execute. Basically, you can just build really cool custom cliff edges or whatever. that, And they actually look quite natural, as you can see here. It doesn't work extremely well because some blocks don't fill in properly. But you can execute it at a player or whatever. And you can just build a really cool design using stone, I guess. It's really cool. And yeah, you can just do as much as you want. And... I guess now I'm probably just going to have to clear this up. So, yeah, I'll be right back when I've done that then. Yeah, okay, I'm done, cleared that up. And now that, that that's kind of the four slash execute commands. I, well, that's not the four of them. You can execute nearly any command that requires... Uh, that, that, so any command... Oh, I'm really not explaining this very well. Any command that is not... Like a player command, so it's not like give at p or anything. It's fill and then coordinate. You can execute that fill command at a player instead. Sort of fill near a player, like I did there. But anyway, um, how you kind of make one on a command block? I usually do. So execute usually uses repeat. The only reason for that is because you got you're going to repeat that, ex that executing at a player because otherwise it'll be kind of hard. But so I I've just I'll just put like a repeat unconditional command block, and you just put slash execute in it. That's the first thing because that that tells it that you're going to execute a command so whoops i don't want to do emotes right now so, so you, you literally just do slash execute uh spell that let's spell that right and then you execute you can execute our entities as well i forgot to mention you can um type equals i don't know arrow um i've actually done this over here with projectile trails so the thing with execute you don't have to execute it at a player you can execute it at an entity which means whatever you want to do will happen at an entity so as you can see over here, I've got different uh, effects. Um, 
that execute at an entity. So I believe this one over here, not that one, this one over here is my favourite. It executes at an egg. Um, I've done a video on this, so that's why I'm not going to be showing you how it works, how to create this command. But basically, when I turn it on, I execute an egg lava particle, so the egg gets a particle trail following it. That's one of my favourite things you can do. It's really fun, fun because you can just kind of, as you can see, it's like a really nice thing. With things like particle trails, the stuff execute is much more useful to just kill this chicken. So you've got to witness this. With this, with the um, with particle trails and things like that, which stuff execute, you're more going to want to do it as like some sort of no functional value, but maybe for something like a server, like a, if you purchase a rank or whatever, you can have something that goes along with it. Like I don't know that. You purchase this god rank, royalty rank, and just a lord rank, something like that. And you just, and with that, people get different things. So you can do, so so you can do things like execute at a, and then tag equals, I don't know, god, for something to happen. Maybe like particle trails happen just at that player, or projectile trails happen just somehow just at the eggs they throw. Maybe they, or the eggs they get have a different name or something, I don't know. But you can do things like that. And so that's your command. You can make like custom ranks something or rewards or things like that on your server or just a realm or whatever. Anything really. And it will just kind of it just it's just kind of a nice way to kind of it's nice it's a nice sort of like reward scheme, if you know what I mean. Like on the big servers you can get like pets that follow you around, things like that. You kinda of can do that. All you can really do is like get a pig with a name that every that every five seconds teleports to you. Or something like that. That's easy to do, but it it doesn't feel realistic. So like, this is the, this is you could say kind of the next best way to do it. I guess it's so it's executed is used in so many ways. You can execute a clone command at a player, so it will clone the block they're standing onto above their head or something. Don't know why I want to do that. Um, execute is a close you get to world edit in a lot of ways. Like what I showed you there with with one facing ten blocks in front of that. Uh, it builds like a book of stone. It's kind of close you can get to world edit and you can build really large structures with that sort of thing. It, obviously it's not that near to world edit at all. But it's kind of the closest sort of thing you'll get on mobile. Well on just Bedrock Edition itself because Bedrock obviously doesn't have world edit or anything like that. It's kind of like the closest you'll get. And you know, as you can see here again it's actually at P. Up out, up out, up out 10, set block, up out, up out, up out 10. And then stone whatever block you want to set it to. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about such execute, to be honest. I don't think there really else is much to say. It or does it execute a command that normally wouldn't be executed by a player, add a player. That's kind of how it works. Thank you all so much for watching. If we did stick to this end point, again, I really, really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy this, consider leaving a like down below and subscribing the locations on if you're new. I really would appreciate it. Also, comment down below any other video ideas you'd like to see, any other tutorials, any kind of... I don't know, like challenges on Cubecraft, anything like that. I'd really appreciate any suggestions. Also, a couple of links in the description. First on Instagram, please, please do be sure to follow me on there. I post regularly, sneak peeks of videos to come, and often on my store and things like that. And also my Discord, please be sure to join my Discord. We might be looking for a couple more admin things like that soon. You can get yourself from hangouts, things like that. And I really would just appreciate you joining the Discord. That would really be nice. Any, any other links in the description, please check them out. And yeah, I'll see you in two days with another video. Peace.